<laughs> Morning, folks. It is October the 8th. We've got a strong west wind blowing today. And I am all by my lonesome out here in a silage field, hopefully trying to traffic some honkers. Weirdly enough, they're not using the silage right now. Flying over it, but they ain't using it. They're actually sending a pasture, which is north of me. I'm gonna try to traffic them into this field. Don't have a giant spread out today. Two and a half dozen full bodies, and then I think I probably have like six dozen silhouettes out. A few black and whites. The rest just colors, regular ones. Waiting for some, some wood ducks to show up and Get a little shooting at first light, but that didn't happen today. Waiting on the honkers now, hearing a few of them over my left shoulder. Like I said, good strong west wind, so it's gonna be tough for them to hear me. And I also forgot the flag at home, so not a great look, but I'm set up for a crosswind shoot. Show you the spread here. Little flock there, big chunks right there. A couple smaller fresh looking flocks out there. And then just a few decoys in front of me. So, nothing too crazy by any means. Oh my god, no, I'm getting busted by hawkers right here. There's three. <laughs> Filming the intro video, silent flock comes in like right there, bang. I did not expect that to happen. They worked utterly perfect into the spread. Started the day with a triple. You gotta be kidding me right now, baby. There is not a better way to start the day than that. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh my God! I'll have to ring that one's neck a little bit, but... I guess that answers my question as to whether or not the spread works. <laughs> they couldn't have done it more perfect. And starting the day with a triple ain't too shabby either. Ain't too shabby. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> Just about perfect. Ugh. Woo, lovely bird. After further review, um, I didn't even get those birds really working in frame on the GoPro, which is awesome. Not really at all. Kind of unfortunate, but you can see, I mean, you can see me shoot, obviously, and like you can see the flock kind of, sort of, but you can't see them when I, when I take them when they're right here. GoPro is at a bad angle on the head. Didn't realize it. Happens when you're filming. I'm glad I got the triple on film and you know, got me missing technically out of shot, so that was kind of intentional. Need one more goose. Happened pretty fast. It's only like, it's early. 7.30? Been shooting light for half an hour and I'm already pretty much done. Should be done. But I suck at shooting. Oh, there's some geese right there. Cool. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
baby slow roll bomb give me that gander boy Woo. come on that is a limit by 747 just over about 50 minutes of shooting time yeah that's about 50 minutes of shooting time and I got done so a lot of these birds are still dumping into that pasture I had enough decoys packed in this little gap right here that gap between those bushes it's where all my black and whites and stuff were i was worried that i didn't have a flag and you know they saw me instantly a lot of these birds as soon as they got up over the trees they were going to come give me a look when that sun started to creep up a little bit they weren't working as well a lot of them were seeing other live birds dump into the pasture so they were going and doing that luckily i was able to break off a little two pack they slow rolled right in and it was easy pickings, 10 yard shop, limit right there. So, um, can't ask for a better hunt, that was awesome. I do like hunting crosswinds because typically they're not looking directly at the blind. You're not looking directly at them, you're kind of giving them the side eye instead. So you can't, sometimes, you know, you don't flare them as easily. Obviously I wasn't gonna set up with a, you know, just a straight tailwind today. Sun would have been right in my eyes. There was no clouds in the sky, so there was no way I was doing that. And they wanted to basically land right on top of me for the most part. That flared a few birds, but also it allowed for some really close shooting and some really easy shooting. And then other than that, I had, like I said, the main center mass back there with the black and whites that I was hoping, you know, would get their attention. And then a couple different pods that looked like fresh landed flocks. So nothing tried to land behind me. Everything worked pretty perfect out in front, but I need to shut up start packing up these decoys pretty solid solo hunt today well guys that's gonna wrap it up for today's video just got packed up out of the field uh, and about to head home clean these geese and continue with my day awesome month this morning it was a great one to get on film i'm glad i went hunting i was definitely pondering whether or not i should sleep in but i definitely made the right decision this morning thanks so much for watching guys i appreciate it don't forget to like and subscribe hopefully there will be a lot more duck hunting goose hunting bow hunting videos as the fall progresses here in northern minnesota which there should be because so far it has been a really really good fall for me so hopefully it ends on a high note too so thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time guys thank you